Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of Flipper Zero. This little device has been making waves in the tech community, and for good reason. It's like a Swiss army knife for hackers and tech enthusiasts, packed with features you won't believe. We're going deep today, uncovering 10 Flipper Zero hacks that you probably didn't know about. From sniffing signals to emulating devices, these hacks showcase just how powerful and versatile this pocket-sized tool can be. So, buckle up and get ready to have your mind blown. First up, we're talking about the Flipper Zero's signal sniffing capabilities. We're talking about the ability to capture and analyze various wireless signals, like those from garage door openers, car key fobs, and even some security systems. Think of it like having a detective's magnifying glass for the invisible world of radio waves. You can use the Flipper Zero to identify the frequencies being used, capture the signals themselves, and even replay them under the right circumstances. This tool is meant for educational purposes and ethical hacking, helping you understand how these systems work and identify potential security vulnerabilities. Imagine being able to analyze the signal from your own garage door opener and see if there are any weaknesses in its security. The Flipper Zero gives you a front row seat to this hidden world, allowing you to explore and learn in a safe and controlled environment. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use it wisely. Next up, let's talk about RFID, or Radio Frequency Identification. This technology is everywhere, from key cards and payment systems to inventory tracking and pet microchips. And guess what? The Flipper Zero can read, copy, and even emulate these RFID signals. Think about the possibilities. You can use it to clone access cards for educational purposes only, of course. Experiment with NFC payments, again responsibly or even prank your friends by messing with their RFID-enabled devices. By emulating different RFID tags and analyzing their responses, you can gain valuable insights into the security and functionality of these systems. The Flipper Zero can become an invaluable tool for testing and debugging your system, allowing you to simulate different scenarios and see how your device responds. It's like having a pocket-sized RFID lab that lets you explore, experiment, and innovate with this increasingly ubiquitous technology. Remember the days of pointing your bulky universal remote at the TV and hoping it worked? Well, the Flipper Zero brings infrared control into the 21st century, and it's more powerful than you might think. This little device can learn and transmit infrared signals, allowing you to control TVs, AC units, sound systems, and a whole lot more. But here's where it gets interesting. The Flipper Zero can also analyze and decode those signals, giving you a deeper understanding of how they work. Want to create your own custom remote control for your smart home setup? The Flipper Zero can help you do that. With its open source nature, the Flipper Zero community has developed custom firmware and scripts that unlock even more possibilities for IR control. You can find pre-programmed codes for a wide range of devices, or even create your own from scratch. Chapter 4. Unleashing the Airwaves Sub-GZ with Flipper Zero Now let's dive into the world of Sub-GZ radio communication. This is where things get really interesting as it opens up a whole new realm of devices and systems that the Flipper Zero can interact with. We're talking about things like wireless alarm systems, tire pressure sensors, weather stations, and even some industrial control systems. The Flipper Zero can send and receive signals on these frequencies, allowing you to explore, analyze, and even control these devices. Imagine being able to monitor the signals from your home security system or read the data from your car's tire pressure sensors directly on your Flipper Zero. But with this power comes responsibility. It's crucial to use the Flipper Zero ethically and legally when exploring sub-GHZ communication. Chapter 5. NFC Unveiled, Reading, Writing, and Emulating with Flipper Zero. Remember those RFID capabilities we talked about earlier? Well, NFC, or Near Field Communication, is a subset of RFID that operates at a shorter range and is commonly used for things like contactless payments, data transfer, and access control. And guess what? The Flipper Zero is an NFC powerhouse. You can use it to read NFC tags, write data to them, and even emulate different types of NFC cards. Imagine being able to read the data on your contactless payment card. Don't worry, it's secure. 
or create your own custom NFC tags to trigger actions on your smartphone. The Flipper Zero's NFC capabilities are incredibly versatile and can be used for everything from simple tasks like sharing contact information to more complex projects like building your own NFC-controlled smart home devices. Chapter 6. Beyond the Basics, Unlocking Flipper Zero's GPIO Pins Now for those of you who like to tinker and customize, the Flipper Zero has something special, GPIO Pins. These pins give you direct access to the device's hardware, allowing you to connect external components and expand its functionality even further. We're talking about adding LEDs, buttons, sensors, and even custom modules that can interact with the Flipper Zero software. The GPIO pins are like the Flipper Zero's secret handshake for makers and hackers, allowing you to unleash your creativity and push the boundaries of what this little device can do. Chapter 7, The Bad Side of USB Flipper Zero's Hide Spoofing Here's where things get really interesting. The Flipper Zero can emulate a USB Human Interface Device, or HID. What does that mean? It means it can pretend to be a keyboard, a mouse, or even a storage device when connected to a computer. However, in the right hands and with the right knowledge, the Flipper Zero's HID spoofing capabilities can be incredibly powerful for security research and penetration testing. Imagine being able to test the security of a system by simulating keystrokes or mouse movements to see if you can trigger any vulnerabilities. Or you could use the Flipper Zero to automate repetitive tasks or even create custom input devices for people with disabilities. The Flipper Zero's HID spoofing feature is a powerful tool that should be used responsibly and ethically. Chapter 8. Bluetooth Detective Sniffing the Airwaves with Flipper Zero we live in a world surrounded by Bluetooth devices, from headphones and smartwatches to wireless keyboards and speakers. And the Flipper Zero can be your guide to this invisible network, allowing you to sniff out Bluetooth signals and analyze their data. However, for security researchers and tech enthusiasts, the Flipper Zero provides a valuable tool for understanding how Bluetooth devices communicate and identifying potential vulnerabilities. Imagine being able to analyze the Bluetooth traffic between your smartphone and your smartwatch to see how secure the connection is. The Flipper Zero's Bluetooth sniffing capabilities are a powerful tool for anyone interested in exploring the world of wireless communication and understanding the security implications of this ubiquitous technology. Chapter 9. Unlocking the Past, Flipper Zero as an iButton Emulator. You might not encounter them every day, but iButtons are still used in various applications, from access control and time tracking to data logging and security systems. These small, durable devices store a unique identification code that can be read by compatible readers. And guess what? The Flipper Zero can emulate an iButton. This means you can read and copy existing iButton codes, as well as create your own custom codes for various purposes. The Flipper Zero's iButton emulation feature might not be as flashy as some of its other capabilities, but it's a testament to the device's versatility and its ability to interact with a wide range of technologies, even those that are less common. Chapter 10. Beyond Two-Factor Flipper Zero as a U2F Token In a world increasingly focused on online security, two-factor authentication has become essential for protecting our accounts and data. And the Flipper Zero can even play a role in this space by acting as a U2F or Universal Second Factor token. U2F is a standard for secure authentication that uses hardware tokens to verify your identity. The Flipper Zero can emulate a U2F token, allowing you to add an extra layer of security to your online accounts, from signal sniffing and RFID emulation to infrared control and USB high D spoofing. The Flipper Zero is a treasure trove of features for anyone interested in exploring the world of hacking, cybersecurity, and DIY electronics. So there you have it, 10 Flipper Zero hacks that you probably didn't know about. We've barely scratched the surface of what this incredible device can do, and with its open source nature and active community, the possibilities are practically endless. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech content. Let us know in the comments which Flipper Zero hack you found the most interesting, or if you have any other cool hacks to share. And as always, remember to use your newfound knowledge responsibly and ethically. Happy hacking!